What you doing on the AC? And this is Otaku News Reviews. I'm talking about the last chapter of Fabricant 100 by Daisuke Noshima, Chapter 36, Fulfilled Agreement. This chapter came out on September 3rd, 2023, and to the end, this is a typical 19 pages. That's right, the manga finally ended after so many threats of being axed and it seems like from the very beginning that's what most people were focusing on <laughs> unfortunately uh it finally happened so a lot of my thoughts and comments are more about my feelings towards it overall as a manga really for this last chapter there's not that much that's gone into it they didn't even give it a few extra pages or anything they didn't give it like a nice cool last chapter title page or anything it kind of really just ends which is unfortunate because i really like the manga but let me at least start with talking about what happens in this chapter so 100 has realized the truth that the doctor just wanted to revive the people from the island and make them more impervious to war uh what apparently the fabricants were really lacking and we kind of understood this in earlier chapters uh it was that they were just missing the heart like the islanders and like was also brought up before uh the doctor did not have this same kind of heart so he couldn't give it the same reason why 100 couldn't really give a heart or stuff like that and why number 99 was kind of more vicious more you know just out of it is yeah number one doesn't have it the doctor didn't have it and to be the ideal human they need this heart of course number one does not accept this so 100 decides to self-sacrifice and burn both of them kind of just jumps off this tower really long spiral staircase and compares this action to like a shibi's heart of self-sacrificing to prevent others pain and while they're falling, Ashibi sees 100 and 1 and while he's going up the staircase, I guess, to get them. And the scene, a little bit emotional. At this point, maybe it's just me. I kind of lost all the enthusiasm for it. So at this point, it's so rushed that, yeah, I can see it being a bit emotional. It is kind of a little sad, but it's kind of lost. But at this end for 100, 100 admits doing it for herself. Uh, to be the ideal human and then see some kind of mysterious light figure reaching out don't know what that is can't even really guess what that is maybe it's the spirit of Saya. maybe it's the spirit of the ideals of the doctor who knows but that's it that's in 100 and then we cut to three years later shibi's grown up uh luca hugo kagui and mimi come over um the boss was too busy breaking up more safe because apparently going back the five stars beat the rest of the fabricants that were attacking more safe and then over the next two years they managed to hunt down the rest of them and since one's not there then that's it that it all really is over so they're gathered around a table there's a chair for yako left out because sadly she be lost her and he's also a little sad for 100 because they did spend a lot of time together and they he did so much to fulfill uh, Shibi's revenge, but after all that, he's more peaceful now. He's, you know, older, more mature, and he's come to realize, thanks to Ayako, that uh, he doesn't want anyone else to be sad because over his death, so no more self-sacrificing. He's healing. He's doing that, and to end it all, it's his 18th birthday. He finally is old enough for 100 to take him. Too bad 100's gone. I don't know, but also, it makes me think, because he's finally 18 and his, like, blood is supposed to be the most potent now that he's matured and an adult could he maybe get his healing back of course we won't see that because it is in the, the series but another little thought and it's like there's conflicting like ideologies and i complained about it before like there was so much talk about self-sacrifice and it kind of annoyed me and it just like it dragged on and it still apparently lasted to the very end but ashibi finally saw more of yaku's part while you know fabric 100 lean more to like a shibi's way of thinking so there i'm not saying it's like oh the whole moral is off but it's like okay it's kind of makes sense it's everyone taking their own steps to their own more personal ideal way to live or die i guess but the series over the title like i always like to point out self-explanatory fulfilled agreement their deal is done uh, all the fabricants are dead thanks to 100's actions even though technically 100 didn't 
beat all the fabricants there were still apparently plenty left that had it took two years to get the rest of them but yeah it's over and i don't know i can go i have so many thoughts i thought about doing a separate video but i just want the series to be over which meaning my own series of this it's the first series i did a weekly uh manga review on and i was so excited i was so glad this was the one and it kind of got weird and I, I it's weird to be like where did it go wrong because did it go wrong it's the nature of i don't want to like throw shit at weekly shonen jump but it's the nature of it you have to get a lot of attention at first you need to go and it needs to be popular and i feel like the story the concept everything was there but for some reason it just didn't get the audience and i can only think it is more of a mature story even though the main character is a kid and maybe it just didn't grab the attention of like the younger audience like weekly shonen jump is supposed to do and though at this point it is a lot more mature audience but maybe it's not i kind of see that fabricant 100 to kind of prove that point it was near the bottom of rankings for so long it kept getting little jumps but in the end what i think really did it is the fact that it did change i felt like if it would stay more in the tone and the style it was going at it would like eventually rose and i don't think it gave it a chance be it the japanese editing process because it really took this like more shonen typical fighting route with given like the more obvious powers instead of just like you know better body parts like their body parts are just naturally better and it's like okay well now they have specific powers they're not <laughs> uh, shiba can use his blood now they have like attack names and all these weird techniques that you would see in any other shonen fighting manga and i think that's where it really lost it and it's at this point it just didn't have the time it needed to really grow and i didn't expect this to be a long series i was hoping 100 chapters there you go um because it's fabric 100 but there were 100 fabricants you could potentially do that even if they didn't personally see every single 100 of the fabricants 100 chapters you know some of the arcs being a little longer more fleshed out more backstory not everything so crammed together at the end but i don't know there's a there's a lot we could talk about and hey if you want to talk about more i'm happy to talk about the series overall and maybe we have conflicting opinions whatever it is but before i leave off i do want to say you know like some thanks to thank you daisuke nishima uh, for making this series i it had so much more potential i i don't know whose fault i don't want to blame anyone but i feel like you had a vision that maybe others impeded on and i wish we could have saw more um okay. and then just on the english side thanks to jamie suko cash for translating erica terrique's for lettering of course thanks to weekly shonen jump and shueisha for giving this uh, series a chance at all because otherwise i wouldn't have known about it and then thanks to viz and manga plus where i would read in it for hosting the english versions uh, i don't know if it'll get english releases for the volumes i think in total there will be four or five i think something like that i think five in total so it'd be interesting uh, if it comes out in english i'll probably get it i really like the series uh it's a special series to me now regardless of how it ended but sad to see it go for that but also you know a little relief like I, I was getting a little annoyed at the ending because of the route it was taking and it just wasn't feeling like the original thing it was at the beginning so yeah it let's talk about it more i'm like i said i'm so happy to talk about it you can leave comments find me on social media the ac stories email me at the ac at gmail.com or hey i have a discord you can join we can talk about this even though it's over you can talk about all the other stuff i do a little community there It'd be great to have you uh, build that up and aside from that i do have a kofi one dollar tier it gets you shout outs and a special discord channel in my server and then two dollar tiers you get access to all my notes any bloopers stuff like that and it helps me a little bit financially which would be great so i would appreciate it if you do want to do that but links to everything i just mentioned will be in the description like always but hey if you liked what i had to say go ahead and give this a video a like if you want to keep up with what i'm doing aside from this since it's over go ahead and subscribe but that's all i have to say about this chapter of fabricant 100 and the fabricant 100 series as a whole 
so sad to go but until next time on whatever i'm doing i'm the ac thank you so much to everyone else bye